It is a phrase we've heard repeatedly from President Donald Trump. Fake news. Tonight, a Chicago woman says she's sick of being the face of fake news. At issue, this bogus ad that's back in the headlines because of a congressional hearing this week. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker has our original report. Senator Klobuchar for three minutes. The congressional hearing with the heads of Google, Facebook, and Twitter on the hot seat focused on the fake ads that may have influenced the presidential election. Here's one of them. This particular ad was an attempt to trick Clinton supporters into staying home. Efforts like this are actually criminal. Whoever created the ad used Deborah Williams's picture without her permission. Last November, when she brought this to our attention, she was angry. I think that was very offensive and, and just, um, just bogus. Today, she in tears. Why does it bring you to tears? It's just crazy. It's um embarrassing. Um, it's hurtful. It didn't stop here. Websites that reported on the hearing also used the photo. Friends of Williams has snapped a screenshot from ABC News. So people are starting to laugh at me. It's not funny because Williams is a community activist who has considered running for political office. If my picture is associated with something telling people wrong, then how are they going to take me serious? It's unfortunate that she was roped into this. But there's little she can do, according to tech and social media attorney Dahlia Saper. Well, news outlets don't have an obligation to ask for permission to portray a person if they are reporting about something that's newsworthy. The same applies to Congress, says Saper. Her advice to Williams is to reach out to every outlet that's used her photo and politely ask them to stop. Williams is hoping this story will help. At some point, somebody's got to listen to me. Somebody got to take me serious enough to know that I don't want this happening anymore. Well, it appears that some are already listening to Williams, taking her seriously. She says after reaching out to the Senate Judiciary Subcommittee this afternoon, she got a call. Williams says a representative apologized and promised not to use her photo in future proceedings. She's reaching out to all news organizations that may have used this. That is a tall order, as we know. We're talking hundreds. At least. She, the attorney also pointed out it is going to be very, very difficult for her is to that what stop she's this. Do? But, but try. That's yeah. what she plans to do. One small piece, one small resolution so yeah. far. He's just hoping the story will help, too. Yeah. Thanks, Dorothy. Okay.